people often ask guides uh, what to wear in the mountains. So this is basically what I wear on a typical summer day in the Alps. First thing is sun cream, high factor, uh, mainly for the face and um, lip balm. Same theme, protection from the sun, uh, factor 4 or category 4 glasses uh, that wrap around the face so that they don't let any light in. A sun hat, keep the sun off the head. And now working from the boots upwards, a uh, good uh, stiff boot. Uh, that would take crampons. Um, the interface with the, uh, the boot uh, and the uh, mountain trousers is obviously the gaiter. Um, you only need ankle gaiters. The gaiters that go up to your knee are unnecessary in summertime in the Alps, especially with a mountain trouser. So you can put the internal gaiter of the mountain trouser inside the ankle gaiter put the ankle gaiter up around the uh, internal trouser gaiter and then put these trousers down and that will be perfectly adequate for the type of uh, fresh snowfall that you're probably going to get in, uh, in the Alps in the summertime Mountain trousers are pretty useful, generally made of soft shell, uh, light soft shell material. The ones with uh, the ventilation zips on the sides are often quite useful as well. Uh, moving on um, to just a base layer on the top. A uh, t-shirt uh, with plenty of ventilation is useful for a base layer, especially when you're walking on a warm day up to the hut. Beyond that, a thin mid layer is useful. Particularly good features on this one are that it's got a full length zip for ventilation. As I say, it's nice and thin, so in the afternoon when it's very warm on the glacier, uh, it can give you good sun protection but not be too hot. Also, with regard to sun protection, it's got a hood. Uh, and that can keep the sun off your face and uh, neck uh, a bit in conjunction with your sun hat and so that is uh, extremely uh, useful piece of equipment. The other thing about this particular one is that it can just give you a little bit of extra warmth with the thumb grips. So this, this one is a, a big favourite for me, I've worn this and one like it uh, nearly every day this summer. Moving on um, in the morning it's going to be very cold in the, uh, when you leave the hut uh, and so you'll need extra layers. A soft shell like this jacket here is a good additional layer. Um, this particular one is very good because the pockets are high and so it doesn't interfere with the uh, harness. Also it has ventilation zips underneath the arms. Uh, just for that added versatility and warmth. And the, he the hood is big enough to come up over, over a helmet, so that's pretty useful. It's not super thick, so if I want to be a little bit extra warm, more versatility here is the Primal Off Gilet. It's also fairly windproof. So that helps as well. Other things that I'm certainly going to be wearing in the morning, uh, perhaps a headband to beef up uh, the warmth in addition to my sun hat. The other thing is that uh, gloves only really need to be um, relatively thin leather gloves. This is for added dexterity when you're manipulating carabiners and ropes. Also you need a little bit of protection from the rock. Thick ski gloves are generally only uh, useful for uh, emergencies. Um, so 
just a thin pair of gloves. These are from a garden centre and they're uh, close fitting leather. So I may, if the weather is very windy or rainy, be wanting my jacket. Gore-Tex jacket, very thin, lightweight. Much of the time in the Alps this jacket stays in the rucksack. So there's no point in having an extra thick one. But once again, this jacket is particularly good because the pockets are high and so therefore it doesn't interfere with the harness. Um, it's got some ventilation on the sides and most importantly the hood will go up over a helmet. So, in emergencies, I'm going to have my uh, synthetic Primaloft jacket in the, uh, in the rucksack and uh, in extreme circumstances, like for instance if it's very cold on top of a summit, I may put this jacket on. Once again, a good big hood is the way forward. Uh, and that is basically pretty much what I carry and use uh, for most of the summer uh, in the Alps.